What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the bodybuilding DJ, DJ Axis Powers, here for another Workout Wednesday. So, you caught me, just did some arms, so I got a nice pump going. Um, love to train arms and get a nice pump. Feels great! Anyway, today we are going to talk about Boston Lloyd raw footage. Yikes. I mean, this guy is straight up doing steroids on the internet. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, he does bring the reality of bodybuilding, uh, the truth of it, um, gives it more, you know, exposure to the fact that most people don't understand. To get on a certain level, you have to be on uh, performance enhancing drugs. And uh, that, unfortunately, is something that the fitness industry doesn't really want you to know so unfortunately a lot of people have this idea that they can look a certain way just by taking this supplement or that supplement just because the athletes they may see in these ads have these incredible incredible bodies that they really aspire to and the fact of the matter is that you couldn't probably look like these guys in the magazines but you're gonna have to do what they did so that's a choice that anybody who competes really has to understand that you can either take steroids and growth hormone and all those performance enhancing drugs and really push your body to whatever limit and you know at the end of the day you're gonna probably risk your health or you know you can compete um, naturally which is you know in itself become a whole nother kind of controversy and issue because of course you know natural bodybuilding means that you're not taking steroids growth hormone but of course you know different leagues different organizations put um, different things on their ban list but at the end of the day it's basically steroids and growth and other drugs versus you know you can do creatine or pre-workout you know but as long as you're not doing any anabolics or growth um, or diuretics um, or certain other uh, stimulants that might be banned so if you're thinking about competing you know definitely do your research on the organization and figure out what's banned and what's not and then you know you make that decision for yourself I compete as a natural bodybuilder in the OCB organization and uh, yeah man um, you know I really feel like that's where I, I got a, a fair shot of really pushing my body to the you know the absolute limit versus guys who are you know pretty much doing the same are there gonna be people out there who are gonna cheat probably I mean it's like anything but um, in our organization you have to take a polygraph before you compete and then if you do win your pro certification you do have to pass a urine test so of course you know people can always get around these tests but it's definitely um, gonna make sure that most of the people are, are natural so again if you want to get into fitness and bodybuilding competitions then find a league that has the rules that you think are gonna work for you so do your homework go out there and do your best and uh, yeah man I'm so I'm grateful that I found natural bodybuilding I didn't even know it existed until I did my research but there is, you know, um, organizations out there for you to compete and you don't have to take steroids. So OCB, INBF, uh, that's where I compete. There are some other leagues out there, but if you want to go out there and be a bodybuilder and, and you don't want to do steroids, then there's definitely leagues out there for you. So as far as Boston Lloyd, I don't know, man, I think it's very dangerous to be out there. You know, young kids are so impressionable and granted that that is the truth of, of bodybuilding, but at the same time, you know, you got to have a little more responsibility, I think, um, if you really understand that, you know, you're speaking to so many, so many young people out there who might not have any other outlet other than looking at your videos. And if they, if, you know, if you're, you're their idol, if they look up to you, Boston, damn, man, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of young people out there who are, you know, probably going to mess themselves up and, uh, at the end of the day, you have to take responsibility for your actions. And uh, I choose to compete as a natural bodybuilder. If you choose to compete as, you know, someone who uses performance enhancing drugs, that's your choice. 
I'm not here to judge you. Everyone has the choice to push their bodies to whatever limits they want to push it. But again, when you have that much of a following, that much exposure, I think you need to, you know, show a little more responsibility and understanding that, you know, you've been given this opportunity to have this whole life as a fitness YouTube star and, you know, to put so many people down a wrong, dark, negative path, you know, the effects are going to come back and those effects I can't imagine are any good. So everyone out there, the choice is yours. You know, if you want to go with the Jedi's or if you want to go with the dark side of the force, everyone has that choice. And, uh, you know, you got to live with the choices you make. Bodybuilding Wednesdays, DJ X's powers. Keep working hard. The choice is yours. See you next week. Ooh.